a very good morning to you madam so today i am here to do a presentation on the topic green cloud i am jayamini karya peruma my registration number is 2018 ict 86 so before moving to the whole term green cloud i would like to present what actually these words mean what is green and what is cloud so now let's see what is green going green the term green in green cloud is actually running with the concept of going green going green involves being environmental friendly by taking steps to minimize the damage humans are doing to the environment to live an environmentally responsible life and to make choices that will preserve the earth and its non-renewable resources instead of destroying them and protect them for future generation and that is what is meant by green so now let's see what is cloud cloud is the internet it is actually internet more specifically it is all the things you can access remotely over internet rather than keeping files in a hard drive or local storage device in a physical manner cloud-based storage make it possible to save them in a virtual and far off database as long as our electronic device has access to the web and the internet it can access the data and all the software programs to run it for example uh, if you ever used a web-based email service such as gmail or yahoo mail you have already used cloud all of the emails in a web-based service are stored on servers rather than on your computer's hard drive this means you can access your emails from any computer with an internet connection it also means you will be able to recover your emails if something happened to your computer so there are some main specific reasons why we use cloud some of them are file sharing file storage and also backing up data when we get file storage as i said earlier it is used to save files accessing them with any device with internet connection dropbox and google drive are some of the popular cloud-based storage services and when we consider file sharing cloud allows us to save files with many people of at the same time so as given here for example we can use cloud-based photo service like Flickr or iCloud photo to upload photos and share with several people at once and the other reason is why we use cloud is for backing up data whenever we lost stolen or damage our data we can again recover these files from the cloud now we know what is green and what is cloud so now let's see what is actually meant by this green cloud in the current world there is a rapid expansion in data centers due to the exponential growth of cloud computing this rise is mostly due to social networking sites facebook instagram twitter are websites where users upload millions of media files on a daily basis with each new upload power consumption of the data centers increase this causes dramatic increase in energy consumption and its effects on the environment in terms of carbon footprints so to reduce this power consumption it is required to develop some energy efficient solutions so this green cloud computing is the practice of executing policies and procedures to reduce energy consumption carbon emission aware concepts in order to reduce environment impact of their utilization so through these policies and procedures the below the below functions can be fulfilled first one is reduce higher carbon emissions caused by rapid increase of data centers in general term carbon emission include carbon dioxide emitted during the manufacturing stages of all the components that constitute a data center like ups servers building shell and cooling 
So under green cloud concept, there are techniques built in order to reduce these issues, which eventually protect the outer atmospheric environment. In the term green refers in promoting recyclability or biodegradability of product and factory waste and also it reduces the use of hazardous materials within the data centers. When we get the last point, reduce power consumption of the data centers due to, uh, to reduce electrical carbon emission. Electricity generation is considered one of the main three sources of greenhouse gases, mainly carbon dioxide, in the world. For example, energy efficient resource management has been first introduced in the context of battery fed mobile devices where energy consumption has to be reduced in order to improve the battery lifetime. So this kind of techniques are adapted for servers and data centers to reduce the power consumption of data centers. So eventually it reduces the electrical carbon emission. So now let's see what are the advantages of green cloud. First one is reduce cost and minimize the size of its data centers without affecting the efficiency of services. Uh, this can be achieved by using green cloud computing technique which allows the ability to access applications and data without the need of purchase equipments or built data centers. And the second one is reduce power consumption and carbon dioxide emission by reutilization of energy in an efficient way. Uh, as I said earlier, by this concept, it reduces the power consumption and carbon dioxide emission to the environment. And the third point is reduce the environmental impact by storing the information in digital format on the cloud. Green cloud computing reduces the environmental impact by storing the information in digital format which will eliminate the physical counterparts and the storage devices since all are available on clouds with data centers using green cloud computing methods. Now let's see disadvantages of green cloud. The main issue is the security of data. The reliability along with the availability of green cloud computing services heavily depend on connectivity to internet and its steady power supply. Any interruption in the connectivity or power source may expose the system to hackers, particularly if the cloud is private. So that's all about green cloud. And this is the end of my presentation. And thank you very much for listening. Thank you.